from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. And we've had some cold winds, but we're just kind of waiting for the football season to end before we say really cold winds. So again, those coats will be handy. Just a quick look at from 4A to 5A, 3A, 6A games. Some of them are semifinals. Some of them are finals coming up. And on Thursday, the Bulldogs of Wagner are going to be taking on Blanchard and uh, expect rain and showers. There could be a rumble of thunder. Hopefully not. We don't want the game delayed at all. Still water in Muskogee. That'll be coming up at Friday in the afternoon. It's cold and uh, basically west to northwest winds around eight some gusts earlier uh, during the first part of the game could be up to around 15 to 18 bixby and jinx friday night seven o'clock locking it up at 47 degrees light winds that'll help out no rain expected on friday and saturday no rain saturday looks like a fantastic day and lincoln christian will be playing a saturday evening and that looks like great weather as well so that gives you an idea of what we're looking at Kiefer, we haven't left you out uh, you guys when you're playing looks like the weather should be okay but again on thursday Thursday night, a lot of rain, and then on Friday, a little bit better but cold. Saturday, great. All right, so what's going on? Well, we do have at this time some high clouds that are filtering in from out of the west. There is a storm system that's uh, just starting to show signs of a little bit of life well out to the west. So some of those clouds will start to move in as we work our way on into uh, late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, and then especially with the rain coming in on Thursday. All right, so the Great Lakes area is kind of interesting because they're having lake effect snows, and we've had our fair share of some snow just to the north of us so this is still snow on the ground as of today so it hasn't all melted it's just such a fine line from kansas city down to just north of ponca city blackwell area still a little bit of snow in the panhandle that hasn't melted but and you know, that's just to our north we call it a snow field and sometimes the wind blowing off of that is kind of interesting because it's colder because it's like a refrigerator speaking of colder in a refrigerator and wind blowing off something this is the area of lakes up in the great lakes and they've been getting a lot of lake effect snows going on some 15 now up to uh, pushing almost three feet of snow just northwest of Utica, New York. So there's a lot of stuff going on there because it's so cold today. High temperatures were in the 20s north. We were very, very nice. High plains improved as well, but you can see where that snow area was from Kansas City back to Wichita. Kind of cool to see that little meteorology thing. In the meantime, tonight, our temperatures are dropping off. We're in generally in the low to mid 40s. We're down to 38 now in McAllister. Dry air is allowing temperatures even colder down around Idabel, which you would expect warmer south and east. Uh, as we go through tomorrow morning, our temperatures should just hang in low 30s with 20s in the colder valley. So it'll be a frosty start for several, but a beautiful afternoon. The high clouds are coming in during the afternoon, but we'll be in the low, possibly mid 60s around Tulsa. Some of the clouds uh, will be affecting areas south. It'd be warmer if it wasn't for the fact there'd be more clouds. Then the whole area of rain starts to move in on Thursday morning, especially southeast of I-44. Heaviest rain, thunder, lightning going on Thursday morning. Then most of the energy starts to move on through late afternoon through the rest of our area. And some of that will be heavy rains out west, and they're saying hallelujah, we'll take it. And that is going to move across areas of northwestern and north central Oklahoma. Hopefully, we'll be able to snag that up into uh, portions of southeastern Kansas. We'll have off and on periods of rain Thursday night. That wraps up and then moves across areas from Chautauqua County, Montgomery County, where we need rain so bad, then that'll be out of the picture. Looks like it's should be okay and just kind of cold on Friday morning. Friday afternoon, the winds start to die down a little bit. That's why those high school games and uh, championship games will be okay. Now, that if the winds can die down enough, we'll be fine and nobody will really complain. Rain amounts about a half inch to an inch and a half the further east you go and from Tulsa to the west, about an inch in isolated areas, otherwise about a quarter of an inch. And here's our forecast. Cold in the morning. If you're outlying areas, you'll be frosty. We'll be in the upper 20s, uh, but uh, around 35 in the heart of Tulsa. Man, this looks great. High clouds start to move in, 60. Then that kind of tapers down the ability to warm a whole lot. But we should still manage to be around 65 in Tulsa. And if you're wondering, the temperatures look still great. Uh, we've adjusted a few. Friday looks a little bit better late in the day after gusty winds in the morning. And then look for the weekend to be very pleasant on into Monday. Next week still looks pretty good. So, yeah, knock on wood. It's looking pretty good. We so always tomorrow, like a pleasant weekend. Yes. Tomorrow's a good morning to for you to come help me with my Christmas lights. <laughs> Who are you looking at? <laughs> he just got new data, folks. John is right. Everything's going to change now. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be so Oh, he, he looked your way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's, He's looking at you now. You just avoided it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the plague or something. Yeah. You're not the plague, no. by the way. Yeah. Close, but not. Good luck with those lights.